Hi, this is Dr. Gali Gofarb and thank you very much for joining me here today. Today I'm going to be talking about Alzheimer's disease and alternative treatments that can help with the symptoms. Alzheimer's disease was first discovered and described by Aloise Alzheimer in his patient in 1906. Today, Alzheimer's disease is a major public health concern with numbers increasing all over the world. Alzheimer's is the most common cause of dementia. It is a progressive neurodegenerative disorder which leads to the destruction of nerve cells in the brain and brain t and loss of brain tissue throughout the brain leading to a shrinkage a major shrinkage in brain size which leads to a decline in mental capabilities and of course uh, a reduction in memory unfortunately there is no real cure for alzheimer's disease as of now science and researchers have not yet identified any treatment that can slow or stop the progression of this disease Treatment does consist of creating a better quality of life for people with Alzheimer's disease and reducing the symptoms. The symptoms of the disease can be addressed with traditional or alternative treatments. Unfortunately, alternative treatments for Alzheimer's disease are not widely embraced in the medical community as of yet. However, there are specific dietary patterns that have been proven to be very useful in counteracting the pathological processes typical in Alzheimer's disease. So let's talk about the best dietary habits for reducing Alzheimer's sy symptoms and these include number one, increase in cerebral blood flow which is vital for normal brain function. Alzheimer's disease is associated with damage to small arteries, arterioles and brain capillaries which increased blood flow to these uh, uh, blood vessels and to the brain can do a lot to help. To do this, I recommend a diet that is rich in fiber, especially found in whole grains and legumes. Um, this will help reduce the, the plaque and the plaque buildup in the arteries and will make blood flow more easy to go through the blood vessels and reach the brain cells. So to do this, you want to eat foods from uh, uh, these groups of foods, which include whole grains and legumes, as I said, uh, every single day to support healthy blood flow and blood supply to the brain. You also want to reduce oxidative damage, which contributes significantly to the pathogenesis and progression of Alzheimer's disease. You can do this by increasing your whole fruit intake. Uh, what do I mean by whole fruit? I mean not juiced fruits, but rather whole fruits with their peel, except for bananas of course, but apples with their peels, pears with their peels. <laughs> These foods are rich in antioxidants and help reduce free radicals. These foods from this group will include apricots, berries, cantaloupe, cherries, cranberries, figs, guyavas, mangoes, oranges, papayas, peaches, pears, red grapes, tomatoes, and watermelon. I recommend that when these foods are in season, you eat, you eat at least two foods from this group daily. You also want to reduce inflammation in the brain, which contributes to Alzheimer's disease progression and severity. This will happen when you consume foods that are rich in polyphenols. Polyphenols help reduce brain cell inflammation and reduce damage from free radicals. Foods from this group are crucial to consume on a regular and daily basis. Foods that are rich in polyphenols include beans of all sorts, including soybeans, um, berries, cherries, cloves, curcumin, um, cocoa powder, dark chocolate, also red grapes, nuts, especially hazelnuts, and most vegetables, especially red onions, artichokes, and green leafy vegetables like spinach. Also, you want to increase the BDNF uh, uh, that you have in your brain, which is brain-derived neurotrophic trophic factor. It's a growth factor, which is, increases adult neurogenesis, meaning uh, it increases the production of new brain cells in adulthood. Check out my best foods for uh, increasing BDNF in my video that is at the end of, uh, that I will provide a link to at the end of this video. You also want to help uh, maintain a healthy gut microbiome. This is necessary for the metabolization of polyphenols, which need to be transformed into their active compounds before having an anti-inflammatory and neuroprotective effect on the brain. To do this, you want to consume foods that are excellent foods for a healthy microbiome, and these um, that are excellent foods for the microbiome, uh, meaning they are prebiotics. 
what is this known as prebiotics. They feed the, the healthy microbiome in your gut. And these foods include asparagus, beetroot, chicory, fennel, garlic, green peas, Jerusalem artichokes, and all forms of legumes, all forms of onions as well, and cabbage and sweet corn. In addition to these dietary patterns, there are some supplements that have been shown to, to improve Alzheimer's um, symptoms, and these include caprylic acid. Caprylic acid is a fatty acid found in decent quantities in coconut oil. Uh, this medium chain fatty acid has potent antibacterial, antifungal, and anti-inflammatory properties, and it also helps support a healthy microbiome. Caprylic acid can be taken also as a supplement. You also want to increase your omega-3 fatty acid um, um, consumption. These are very helpful in Alzheimer's disease and uh, a study shown that regular consumption of omega-3 fatty acids reduce uh, cognitive impairment that is uh, part of Alzheimer's disease. Omega-3 fatty acids also have been proven to reduce plaque in the arteries that restricts blood flow and hardens your arteries and reduce also inflammation. You can consume more omega-3 fatty acids through your diet by consuming walnuts, flax seeds, and chia seeds, as well as taking a plant-based omega-3 fatty acid supplement if you desire to do so. The next supplement is coenzyme Q10 which is a neuroprotective antioxidant and has been shown to protect against Huntington disease and Parkinson's disease. Coenzyme Q10 reduces plaque, um, the plaque area in the brain and reduces oxidative stress and amyloid pathology and improves behavioral performance in people with Alzheimer's. Another alternative therapy is acupuncture, which has been uh, shown to promote self-healing uh, it's the use of fine needles. Um, this therapy stimulates the human body to Im improve its energy flow. Uh, some studies show that acupuncture can improve cognitive function and, and mood in people with, with Alzheimer's disease, as long as it is performed by a trained professional.